Hello, I'm Ross Plasco, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of Rive's new feature called the Layout Feature. So I have these three elements, Nav1, Nav2, and this burger thing, and I want them to be arranged in a row up here. Highlight all three and wrap in a layout, and automatically each of them is already wrapped in its own layout, and then wrapped in a row. And now I can control this row. So I just drag it up to here, and you might notice that it's calculating its position from the left-hand side. I don't want that, I want it to calculate from the right-hand side, so I simply change this to right. And now it's calculating that. Let me just equal these out so it's the same from the top and the right. And I can see that this burger is slightly high in the row, that means that it's being arranged from the top, so I can actually change that and make it so that it's being arranged from the right centre. I can change the gap between the three elements, which has been automatically assigned by Rive, to something smaller or something bigger. I'm going to go smaller. And now if I highlight the artboard, I can change the artboard size and it's been pinned to the top right corner. Another interesting thing I can do, because I have these text layers within a row, I can actually go in and change this text run right here to something a bit longer and it will change the position of the one on the left. It will push it away. So that's pretty cool. The next thing I'm going to do is wrap this logo in its own layout. Uh, highlight it, uh, Shift L, that is the shortcut. And I'm going to drag it up there, and I forget what that was. 30, 30, okay. Change these to 30 and 30. So we have one example of a row. I want a column. How do I get this text to stay underneath this item? Highlight both of these. Shift L and Rive has automatically created a column. I can see in this column that the text is to the left. I think that's something to do with this. Now it's in the center. I like the automatic gap in between the text and the item. I'm going to keep that as it is. But now I'm going to actually highlight this column and wrap it again, Shift L. And it's created a row. Resize this row so that it takes up the space of the, uh, the page. And because this is a row, if I duplicate this column, I'm just going to call it item column and duplicate it arranges in a row. As you can see, the items have actually gone outside of this box. Highlight this row, and we're going to wrap. The uh, items are being aligned to the top left. I want them aligned to the top center. I'm going to add some gaps in between the items. You can adjust the gaps here. If I was to resize this, they automatically rearrange. However, if I resize the artboard itself, that doesn't control anything. The way to keep this box justified to the left and the right is to change this up here to left and right. And now when we change the artboard size, the boxes and items rearrange. An interesting thing, because these items are their own columns, I can actually go in and change this text run. Text run pushes down. And it will push all the items below it down. I think that's justified to the left because in the actual text settings. Another thing that I can do is add some animation. Layout animation down here, highlight row and click plus. Now go to custom and change the easing. Uh, I'm going to use pretty quick animation here. Highlight all of the items within this row and add layout animation to them, but leave it as inherit. That way all of the items will inherit this animation. Highlight the artboard and now things are automatically animating and rearranging. Quick additional point if you want a background for your, your texts, so uh, shift L that will wrap it in a text layout, then shift L again and that will wrap it in a row. It needs to be in its own individual row. You need to change this up here to hug, both options to hug, and then go down to the padding increase the padding, then you can add a fill uh, with a corner, and so whatever you do to the text run, it can expand the fill. Then obviously you can do what you did before, you can shift L to create a row, a navbar, uh, 